Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're going to check our second female feather leg baboon and um, she is, appears to have an egg sac but to be honest this one's been quite con confusing because it's been on the bottom of the tank and uh, normally they put them up on the sides so I'm not still not 100% sure but she's had it for 30 odd days now so um, we're gonna dip in and find out what we got. So uh, we'll have a little look in here. Now you remember with a feather leg baboon, they're an old world species. A nice fast one as well. Now what we can do is if you come and have a little look in the top, and you'll see Right down there, there's like a that real solid white, which is to the left of her. This is what I think is the egg sac, right there. So that's it, right there. But it's unusual that she's actually dropped this on or made this on the floor. So we're not 100% sure it is actually an egg sac, so we're gonna find out. Right. We're gonna um, see if we can't tease her out of here. Oh, paintbrush. Oh, she's acting like it's an egg sac. You notice at the moment she's literally, she's not actually giving us much of a threat posture. I'm a bit caught up in the web here. percent convinced but normally when they're really really white like this that's normally a very good indication that it is actually a sack so then what we're going to do now is we're going to catch her up put her in the catch cup and uh, see if we can't investigate we go there nice and gently here she comes And she's coming out very steady. I'll turn that round. What we're going to do is we're going to try and walk her up onto the lid. Here she comes. There we go. There she is. And it is definitely an egg sac. We have babies. If we look in there, we can just see them. They are just, and we have caught this just in time. So I think what we're going to do now is we're going to try and unhook the, the base so that we can pull the, the whole thing out in one go. Hopefully. Then I'll try. Now then. All right, excuse my fingers for a moment. Now we 
we put that there so we can have a lovely look at that. And here we are. Here's the old carapace from her last slough. Doesn't it look amazing? Very, very cool. And there's our babies. Now we have caught these absolutely at a perfect time. This is just the point before they're about to leave the, the security of the egg sac. So probably given these another, another couple of days, another 48 hours maybe, and they would have been all over the tank. So we, we've managed to catch them just in time. Absolutely perfect, that's a real good result. remember we've showed these before this is how we keep our our babies so when we take them from the egg sac they're still actually really vulnerable because these have got at least one more malt to go before they become an actual sling so these are like nymph stages at the moment now when they're at this stage they do require to be kept in a humid environment otherwise they'll dry out and then they'll perish once they molt out into a proper sling, where they're actually furry little things, they're all hairy, like a proper little tarantula, then they can take on a little bit more in the way of uh, climate differences. So um, at the moment, we need to keep them at a really nice, humid environment. So what we do is we've got our bit of stocking, and we place that over the half of the deli cup, that we've cut so all we've done is literally took one of these and we've cut around it halfway and that gives us our top we use a full cup for the bottom we place that in there water in the bottom which i will now actually i can use this this is already room temperature water so this is actually ideal so we'll literally we'll fill that up with that there you go. That is all that's required. You can see we've got one here. It's like Blue Peter, this, isn't it? Here's one we've done earlier. This has got our calciums in. Our Stromatopelma calcium, the feather leg baboon. So this is how we do all of our slings. And then we'll put that in there like so. Turn it back. And then we've just got the normal deli cup lid You'll notice with this, there's no air holes in this, so we don't actually allow for any air exchange because when we check them every day or two, we can lift the lid off. That is enough. That's perfect. So there we have it. There's our nursery. Nice and easy. Oh. And drop the lid. Right then. So what we're going to do now is we are going to take this sack off of here You can see what we was <coughs> excuse me. You can see what we were saying earlier on about that real sort of uh, thick white sacking, and this is what gave the egg sack away. But the interesting point was that she actually laid it on the floor. Normally, with um, the feather legs, and the same with a maculata, they don't carry an egg sack like um, like your aminia and things like that, where they actually have a ball. These guys attach it to the side of the tank or the side of the bark. And that's where they hold it and then they sit over it protecting it now um very unusual for this one she's actually pretty much laid it on the floor of the of the enclosure so what we're going to do now we're going to try and tease this off because we don't want all the rubbish that's with it all we want is the actual egg sac itself we want to keep our nursery pot as clean as possible 
and we can just peel this away. This is perfect that these guys are actually at this stage. You see that one there? They're just coming out the bottom of the sack now. And this is because we've we've opened it up. See them all there? And if we're not careful, we're going to lose them. All right, here we go. Here we go. There you go. Look. Look at all of them. Absolutely loads. So I'm just going to peel that off of there. And there we have it. There's the whole sack there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to drop that into our incubator. Into our nursery pot, sorry. There we go. And then we can flick off these couple of stragglers. There we go. By catching this sack early like this, this has saved an awful lot of work. Oh, oh yeah, look, there's one there. That's it. That is perfect. Right, so now we can get rid of that. We can get rid of this. Shall we open it up? Let's see what we got. Actually very, very thick. Here's the inner one now. This is what we're after. This is the actual inside of the sack. They were actually on their way out. These are, here we go, these are all the previous sloughs. All this here. So yeah, they were literally on their way out. Might be easier to leave these in, in the actual sack, I think. Because they're in all of it, they're all over it. Right, I think what we'll do is we'll leave them there like that. And then that way we, we don't run the risk of damaging any of them. And as you can see, they're starting to move around now. So give this a day or two, and they would have vacated the sack, and they'll be all over the place. They'll be everywhere. But that's a really, really good result. Very pleased with that. That's another... Nice success for the Beastie Room. Now I think um, I think this year now we've done um, I think we've done eleven or twelve confirmed hatchings, and um, over this this weekend we've got a couple more sacks to come off. So we're going to actually pull those, and uh, and we'll see what we get with those. Fingers crossed, it'll be as good as this one. Right then, well I hope you enjoyed that. We will have an update, and we can catch up on these little guys later on. And, uh, and we'll see just how, how well they're doing. So then, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders.
See you soon, guys.